We're going to start off with the meat. We're going to get into this. We're going to talk about Super Bowl picks. So let's dive into it, Chris. The Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Los Angeles Rams and pulling up the most recent odds here. Uh, it is juiced at minus 110 on both sides. The Rams are a four-point favorite total of 48 and a half. Uh, let me get you started on it. Which direction are you going? Oh, well, I'm going with the Bengals. I'm, 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 I'm riding with Joe Burrow, and uh, I've been given no reason to doubt him. Uh, so far this year, they are underdogs. Or Sorry, they are undefeated in um, games where they are underdogs of three or more points. Which is unbelievable, right? I mean, that's just a ridiculous stat. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm taking the Bengals here. I think uh, this seems like it would be a field goal game, and all of the Bengals' playoff games, other than the one against the Raiders, uh, have been field goal games. So, and, and they've won them. So, I'm not necessarily going to go with the money line, but if you wanted to, it's plus 170 on that. But if I got four points here, and I think that this spread should be closer to three, uh, or maybe a little less, I, I'm going to ride with the Bengals as well. Uh, this team has been really good, not just in the playoffs, but throughout the season. And while the Rams have been really good over in the NFC, I, I think the Bengals went through a, a tougher schedule than the Rams. Even even though the Rams had to go through the 49ers and the Cardinals and da da da, da I think that what Cincy had to face uh, for the entire season was just a little bit more difficult. I think they're a better, more well-rounded team, and they're not as sloppy, right? We've talked about that with the Rams multiple times. Uh, this team just makes mistakes uh, frequently. And uh, and then there's also something, Chris, about these quarterbacks named Joe in the Super Bowl, right? Joe Flacco, Joe Namath. Uh, you know, <laughs> it just goes on and on. Uh, I, I mean, I'm all over it. Joe Montana, by the way. I, I, think, uh, I think I'm riding with the Bengals plus the four here. Uh, do you like anything on the total? Yeah, I like a, I like the under. You're missing Joe Theismann. That's all. Oh yeah, goes. Joe Theismann. That's um, right. So, uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, I, I'm going to tell with the under. I think it's going to be a low scoring game. It would not surprise me if this is a you know 12 to 17 ball game. I could I could totally see that. I could totally see that. So that uh, that does make sense for sure. We both like the Bengals. Plus four on this. That was a, a pretty quick and easy breakdown. I uh I think I would go the same way. For uh, under forty eight and a half, it seems to make sense. It opened at forty nine and a half, uh, fifty in some places, and it's been bet down. And I think that's I think that's a smart play, right? I don't expect a lot of fireworks here. I expect uh, good, disciplined defensive football. I, I don't think we're going to see a ton of. Uh, I don't think we're going to see a ton of playmakers. I think the game would have been completely different if it was the Rams against the Chiefs. Uh, but with the Bengals, I think uh, I think they play it a little bit differently. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.